Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, it's Marker95, and welcome back to another Hermitcraft video. And today we're going over the top 5 best Hermitcraft bases in my opinion, just to point out. Anyway, let's get into it. Number 5. Cross's base or city is made of many different individual things rather than one me mega structure. Yeah. Cross has created a... Fascinating ambience that differs where you are. The busy port gives you a different aura than the city next to it. Even though across the city isn't done, it will look amazing and beautiful when it's complete. Number four. Falsus Tower, or Towers, or whatever you like to call it. Falsus Tower is one of is one of a kind tower. With smaller towers around it, she also added these hexagon on the floor which gives it the entire area a unique and awesome feel but I don't know but to me it looks like a villain's base yeah I don't know why but it looks like a villain's base anything else you think or is that just me yeah I don't know remember remember when false was running for mayor no okay I should stop false advertising there anyway let's move on number three Impulse's futuristic pyramid, nevertheless, the pyramid that has slowly grown over time to what it is today, and which now has this futuristic thing on top that connects to the pyramid with a death ray spewing down the middle and has four supports on each side of the corner. And to me, it looks like an over-engineered coffee table. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. It looks like an over-engineered coffee table. Number two, Mumbo Spinner or Mega Wrenches. I don't know what the name of it, of his base is, anyway. This is a Reddit inspired base which keeps getting better each episode. He makes his base, what started just as eight spanners, and completely turned into this ancient ruined thing with modern spanners around it. Yeah. Even though Mumbo isn't fully done landscaping it, it looks awesome and blends in with the jungle around it. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, please subscribe if you uh, like this video so far. Anyway, let's head to number one. At number one, Green's Mansion is easily to admit he is one of the greatest builders of his time. His dedication to detail and perfection of his builds. This mansion went from a hill with a flowing stone island on it into this mega mansion that over time that became big over time. Because what it is today, even though it's not done, it still looks awesome and ominous when you're standing on ground level and looking up at it. I just want to say thank you all for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to see more videos just like this. As all, thank you so much for watching.